welcome back everyone. I know it's been quite some time. Quite some time indeed. Uh, this is Ginger Empire. We're going to do a little bit of Wild West Online. It uh, came out on the 15th, my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Um, we're going to check it out. I'm going to say that uh, per Wild West Online, Exala, this is a closed technical alpha test. It does not re represent game quality content or gameplay, etc. This is a test for stability. And we're just going to see how it goes. I have messed around a bit trying to learn the mechanics. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to delete a character. And when you die, you lose everything. I don't know if that's something they fixed yet. So I played through, I played through three characters. Lost everything on every one. And it was just too hard to run about and find stuff, which is annoying for an alpha test so hopefully that's something they'll fix for the second round of alphas this alpha runs through the 18th but so far so good I like quite a few of the mechanics and as to be expected with any type of alpha of course things at times aren't what they should be because hence the term alpha so we're not gonna try to judge based on that we're gonna try to judge on what we see and what we're presented with that they had lined up here so here we are in the, the first town I don't even know what it's called but I had read that there was a chest to unlock somewhere so we're gonna try and track that down uh, off the bat if you hold the control wheel you can pull up your gun and stuff like that hold control to access the wheel let's turn down that sound a bit good lord that's loud no music apply there we go as you can see, I used the blue snowball. Budget YouTuber. So then, you know, control wheel, access to everything, melee. Oops, wrong button. Campfire, bear trap. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. We don't start out with any money either, I don't think. Tab is to access things. Yes, we got some tonics. I don't think we have any money. So let's, let's, uh, let's whistle up the horse. I don't know. I don't know where. I think it's over there, maybe. I'm not sure. But let's just find the horse. H is for the horse. I think you gotta get outside of town. Cause that, as long as that blue thing is there, you can't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Alright, 100 meters away. Oop. And there is some sound that occasionally loops, but. Not a big deal, it is alpha. We'll just turn it down a little more so it's not distracting. Yeah, that's that's plenty good. Sorry if you can't hear it, but we are here to talk about the game. More than anything anyways. So let's run over to our horse way down here. And now this is cool. I have messed around with the medicinals enough to see. And it's E to pick these things up. There's one more here. Unfortunately, I'm very colorblind, so... There it is. And let's see what those all do. We have the Yarrow. Which natural pain relievers. Yeah, that sounds about right. This plant. And I thought Yarrow was used to induce pregnancy, or birth and whatnot, or in in induce a miscarriage even. I forget. I should know this. And there's Willow. I'm actually noticing more of these than normal, which is good, but they're they are very hard for me to pick up due to being so colorblind. But let's see. Comet headaches, yeah, that sounds right. So these I'm in the medical field, so these are actually pretty accurate on their uses. I do know homeopathic treatments to a degree. So their um their definition's actually pretty spot on. Let's find the horse that we were looking for. And we're gonna try and find some gold today. I have not been able to locate any yet because I just die so quick. Nothing nearby. But I'll bet when we use the map here. Yeah, and it shows we're right on top of some herbs and whatnot. But let's get on the horse. Some medicinal. We'll call them medicinals. Medicinal herbs. Medicinals. Alright. Now I had read. Oh, here's some more. Let's pick that too. I had read that there was some sort of chest in one of the corners of the map that you could open. That had a good bit of money in it, but 
since this is alpha they have the money set up differently so you can't if you find money you can't grab all the money it's reduced on purpose because they don't want you to really be able to purchase the, the rifles and stuff just yet but I will take you to the general store so you can see the guns that are there and over here I know there's a chest here and let's take a moment and let's appreciate these graphics here let's go up a little bit I got everything on ultra I run the GTX 1070 something something I don't even know and it looks good for this technical alpha test I like how it looks and it will only improve from here so let's see I believe it was here and as you can see a lot of sounds aren't there yet we have to jump for the horse but nothing further and of course that is again to be expected I know there's a chest here and I don't know if these respawn or not because every time I've looked at it it's been empty which is just unfortunate because I would love to try and open a chest and see what's in it alrighty let's go back to the horse let's see where to go um oh wow I went that way I need to turn around entirely it looks like so let's cut back around maybe we'll go over here real quick there is some stuff in this barn is that another plant I don't know so yeah you have the medicinals you can grab pretty easily the gold if I can track some gold down this time is very easy to get a hold of too and that are those are the main ways that you make money medicinals of course for keeping yourself alive let's see what's here anything in here with snagging what we got what is that oh ammo plus 10 repeater ammo why not I'm not too terrible worried about the reputation this early on in the game biscuits I don't need no I don't need no biscuits but I guess these items respawn on a semi-regular basis because normally there's just food there so the fact that I got 10 repeater ammo is pretty, pretty cool and that's for the rifle nice well if only I could find the rifle now I'd be good to go Oop. what do we got and as you can see things aren't rendered in yet but they will be <laughs> that's a nice nice bear skin rug there must have been a polar bear but all that will show up eventually and such is the way of things what is that an apple an apple indeed a loaf of bread and I you can't even access your reputation or anything yet so I like I said I ain't concerned with it ain't concerned at all let's see here um, gotta whistle the horse back oh he's way far away let's use another any gold out here Ooh, and it's showing that there's gold up the hill I don't think we'll be able to get the horse maybe yeah let's go up the hill and get this gold I've been waiting for this hopefully it'll be there all the way up the hill Ooh, very nice I'm excited for this because as I said I've yet to find the gold so we're gonna grab this gold and then we'll get all the way to the other side of the map should be good and we're going to keep this along a first impression style of video and looking out over this you can tell once everything is up to speed it's going to look really good I like it a lot and I'll be glad when I see the trains and everything else let's come up and around are we close and I'm not speculating but I'm going to say I would assume that you'll eventually be able to mark objectives and stuff so you can get to things a lot easier hopefully there's nobody else up here but I figure the maps gonna turn into something like the um, like the compass in any game you'd expect to be able to mark objectives and move from one place to the next without having to mash the map button every few minutes so let's get over here and let's go ahead and get the pick out I would also like to see the pick be a little bit bigger in size feel like I'm carrying a hatchet but again 
as I said, I'm sure they just whipped something together for this specific technical test of their alpha that they had planned. All right, so, oh, oh, that's a first. Oh, well, what what's this for if I don't have to? Wow. So I guess you just pick up the gold. Well, okay. I thought I was going to have to mine it. I won't complain. Shoot, that's a lot of gold. There's gold in them hills. Any more? Ooh, lots more. And I can't... I can't really see it too well. I hate being so daggone colorblind, I swear. Drives me bonkers being this colorblind. Maybe they'll add a colorblind filter eventually. That would be awesome. That would indeed be awesome. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, yep, there's some more. So, I wonder what it's going to look like once it reaches a point where you can mine for it. So I heard that there's going to be panning. The devs said something about panning, mining with a pickaxe. Okay, now we just can't die as we beat feet to the gold vendor here. What else we got? We got more. That was a very large amount of gold. Ooh, can we mine this? This looks like you can mine. There we go. Oh, I see. You have to hold the E button to function this. Okay. So you can find the gold on the ground, I guess, in the stream bed. So the mining's in the game. Very cool. And I like the way the node looks quite a bit. That is a lot of gold. I wonder how long this lasts for. And there is no sound. There was initially some sound, but that's not fully implemented yet. So we're mining, we're mining, we're mining. Lots of gold. I like it. And I guess I'm going to check how much I got, or I'm just going to hit it until my inventory is full, and then I'll see if I can free up a bit more space. Because you do have inventory limits, which is fine. But man, this is a lot of gold. I like it. So coming way up here is a good spot to come if you're wanting to test out the gold mechanic. I'll show you guys the map again in a second. And I'm probably just going to do one video per alpha. There's three alphas, it looks like. Probably just gonna do one or two videos unless there's request or enough likes. I'll do more. Wow, I'm getting a lot of gold. But again, as I said, I'll bring up the map so y'all can see, and then we'll take this down to uh, Gold Town. But yes, I would like to see that pick bigger. Very much so. I'm all about aesthetics. Even in er early on, I always focus on those details for some reason. All right, let's see how much gold we got. 14, 94. I guess the capacity is not relative. All right, good. Let's just keep getting the gold. We'll stand here another minute or two, and then we'll move on. I figured the vein would go away, but whatever works. Maybe it spawns and spawns. Maybe this one hasn't been touched all day. Maybe it spawns a specific amount in it for you to mine. Oh, oh, I see. The pickaxe breaks. That's what happens. I guess that is a way to limit things. Let's see if there's any more to pick up off the ground. I just can't see things for the life of me. I hate being so colorblind. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, there we go. Small gold nugget. And shoot, I was happy with, with what I had just found on the ground. <laughs> I thought that was a lot. All right, let's get the horse. Oh, oh. All right. Oh, I see more. Let's grab it. So if your pickaxe breaks, can we find some of this stuff? On the ground. I guess this is what you do when you're the, when you're the broke gold miner and... I, I actually used to live out in Alaska. I lived in Nome, Alaska for, for a time. And uh, 
they're big into dredging the gold off the bottom of the uh, Bering Sea out there. The Bering Strait specifically was what was right out in front of town. Oh, I see. So there's the gold in my pack. And uh, rumor had it that occasionally you could find gold on the beach, but I don't know if there was any truth in that or not. I'd heard a story or two where you'd be, people would be walking along and find a nugget on the ground, something like that. But I'm not sure that holds any weight. And here's the map. We're up in Tooth's Pass, so if you want to find gold and you're tired of getting run over in the map, go to Tooth's Pass. So let's get out of here, because the middle of the map is very crowded. But, uh, so yeah, back to Nome, Alaska. So that was the rumor. My wife and I never found anything, but, uh, another, th another thing that happens out in Nome is, uh, you can find the sea glass, or the sea rocks, or the glass rocks, or whatever you wish to call them. Those were all over the beach, all over the place, and we were there a year, we found about a hundred pounds worth, and, um, my wife's eventually going to turn it into jewelry, but, uh, the story there is Nome has burned down once or twice over the past century and a half or so, and they just push what's left of the town into the ocean, and uh, ocean tumbles around the, the glass, broke bits of glass, and you find the sea glass eventually. So we found a few red pieces, which are probably as gold as you'd find there. Uh, oh, gl nice glitchy tree. It's a willow. It's a fitting, fitting choice for a willow. But uh, the red glass, made back a long time ago, the red glass uh, took gold. You had to put the gold dust into the glass to get the red color. So I guess we did find a few pieces of red glass. So we found our gold on the beach, but just not the nuggets people claimed. And uh, I worked for the hospital when, the, when I was there and just never had the time to meet up with anybody that I knew that had a dredge or anything like that, so didn't see any gold in person. Well, actually, no, I take that back. Once at a bingo night that we went to, there was 0.6 ounces of gold, a little over half ounce of gold as a prize, and I saw it up close. It looked good. I would have took it. If uh, I had won the bingo, I would have took that as my prize, because that was like seven, six, seven hundred bucks at the time, so... Let's keep on going here. Don't shoot me, feller. I'm just a nice, happy cowboy. Thank you. Oh, that's a neat feature, the dust trail. Believable length, too. Let's get to this town. Oh, that was a bandit that rode past me. So let's keep going to town. Just as quick as we can. Yeah, that's another thing. If they're bandits, they show up on the map as bandits, so... Dust Trail is a believable length, which is good. How close am I? Long way to go, in fact. Okay. Let's turn this way a bit. Yeah, there we go. Can't believe we gotta go this far to sell my gold. At least I think this is the only place to sell a gold, so. So yeah, that was my time in Alaska. I spent a year there with my wife. We worked for a local hospital. It was it was decent work. A lot of work. But uh, that is why we were there. We, they definitely paid us well. And that's what I told all my buddies. Uh, you don't have to go to Alaska for the gold. Everybody's got a gold rush of sorts out there. For us, it was uh, the medical jobs paid so well that we made, we made out really well. So if you've got a sellable skill and you got some free time, head on out to Alaska and you'll, uh, you'll have your gold rush for sure. But let's keep going. We got a lot of gold here, and I do not want to die. This is the furthest I've been able to complete anything. Ooh, that horse is really slow when you can't sprint. Good lord. We are almost there. We got to see that blue shield. Yeah. So we're going to price out a few things. We're going to see what these medicinals sell for, and we're going to see what the gold sells for. I do not know where to sell my gold. Let's get off the horse and just run. Because I can still sprint with my person. And that's faster than walking the horse. Maybe we'll happen across something else out here, but we're going to get to town before we do anything whatsoever. 
we got a good bit of gold too. So yeah, let's keep going. Can I whistle up the horse? No, oh, he's still back there. Shoot. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how often you can whistle up the horse. But I I will like it once they fix the spawn point on it where it pops up next to you instead of hundred so yards away. Let's cut around back here. Who? Let's go all the way around. Who am I kidding? People all over the place. I guess everybody had the same idea as me to come out at night. Oh, hey, good night. To find the gold and take it to town. So, y'all remember that though. Tooth's Pass. That's where the gold is if you want to avoid all the crazy people trying to shoot you every five seconds. Where's that town? Okay. Oh, I'm getting turned around on myself. It's over here? Yes. Oh, there's my horse. Looks like they maybe took out the whistle noise. I didn't hear it. Oh, look at that. So if you need to refresh your horse's sprint button, just run a bit and resummon them, and it'll come right back. That will be fixed eventually, I'm sure. Let's get to town, let's sell the gold, and let's see what else there is to do. All right. I'm loving the tree detail as well. That's something I've noticed that I really appreciate. The tree detail, cactus detail, and it looks really good already and especially the trees on the hills and whatnot. And as you can see, there's not a lot rendered in on those hills, but it'll come with time. So I'm liking, I'm liking that I finally found some gold. Let's see what it sells for. Hopefully a decent amount. We should see that shield any second now. There it is. We are safe. Now where do you sell the gold? Let's get all the way into town here. Where do you sell the gold? Prospector Bank. Whatever that means. Let's run around and see what we can find. You go in the bank to sell the gold? I guess so. Is this where we sell the gold? Ooh. I guess these are the safes people were talking about. You could pick. Okay, that makes sense. Very fancy. Oop. Oop. No, let's not. I think that'll rob them. Let's let's go to the front. Jeez, Louise, what a mess. I think that's where we go to sell the gold. I don't know. I've been over here, but I've not been over here with gold. So let's see what happens. Cashier. I guess. Is that where you sell it? Let's go see if anybody else can buy it. Is this? No, that's it. That's where you sell it. Ten bucks. That's definitely more than ten bucks worth of gold. So, oh well. I love the graphic for the nuggets too. Very cool. Let's sell it. Ten bucks. Sell. Question is, what do I do with my ten dollars? Ooh, I gained some fame. Whatever that means. Fame is good though, I guess. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, yeah, I said I was going to show you all this, so you can see some of the guns. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about old timey guns. But we got the equalizer. It's the Model 3. I got a few lever actions, which is nice. Lots of cool things. I'd love to be able to buy that actual rifles which are long rifles we have a couple of different shotguns and you can't buy the repeater ammo now which makes me assume that you're able to buy a repeater in the alpha maybe let's go find a pick where's the general store that's that sign said something about loans so I guess maybe you can 
eventually get a loan. I quit keeping up with details because I don't want to know the details. I want to I want to be surprised. Let's see what we can do here. There ain't nothing there. Feller. Well, let's see what these what do these sell for? Three cents, three cents, three cents. Three cents. What about the bread? Apple. No. Okay, we'll keep that. Sell. Eighteen cents. So um, I'm curious to see what the prices are going to be like outside of uh, the alpha. So can we play cards in here yet? I don't even know. A dollar forty-five for a drink. You? No, thank you. A lot of money on the table. Oh, and of course you can go snooping around and stealing stuff. Let's see here. What do we got worth stealing? Nothing. If you all are having issues with the crouch button, the crouch button is Z. If you had trouble finding it for any reason. So I got ten bucks. Sounds good to me. Can we upgrade this? It says I have some mod kits, so... Well, let's take that 10 bucks and let's uh, get out of town. Hopefully I'll keep the money when I die. I don't know I will. But uh, let's go... Well, let's see if there's any gold nearby. No gold nearby. Alright. Um, no herbs nearby. Shoot! Well, let's just head on out of here. My horse is way over there. Oh, look at this. What do we got? Oh, I thought these were pickable. Shoot. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I love the trees, the detail on these trees. Is the cactus hurt? Nope. Hopefully they'll <laughs> make that hurt eventually. That'd be kind of funny. All right. Well, last thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to this house over here and see what's in it because it costs 10 bucks to unlock we got 10 bucks let's get to my horse 50 50 so meters away and let's see what's in a house and then maybe we'll finish up by just going and shooting and going and shooting some banditos of some sort Maybe we'll just shoot whoever we please and see how it how it is. I have shot a few people. It's good, but let's go to this house and see if we can use it. Since I have the ten bucks to unlock it, and I am really surprised that you didn't start the alpha with any money whatsoever. I would have suspected to have a little bit at least, but not complaining. Just hopefully for the next alpha they'll have a little more access to things, so we can test more features. There is somebody at the house. Hopefully he'll play nice. Is he moving on? Yeah. Everybody in this game just wants to shoot you. I don't know why. Typical early, <laughs> early alpha stuff. Let's get in here. This is a long count to get in. Yes, I want to buy it. I got my 10 bucks. No, I can't. I can't buy it. Dang it. But I got $10. Don't I? Did I spend it? No, I got 10 bucks. I just don't know where the the ticker is. Oh, well. Well, let's um see there's gold somewhere. Ooh, we got some weeds up here. Some medicinals. I hope we can pick some opium and marijuana at some point. Do some drug running. That'd be cool. Not speculating. Just hoping. Let's see what we got. I am 
right on top of it, so I guess somebody's already come through and picked everything. Oh well. Um, horse? Alright, there you are. That's better. Yeah, it looks like they took out the whistle sound, or I just turned down the volume enough I can't hear it. Let's find a town. Oh, there's, is that something? What is that? Is that that weird flower again? Oh, I could pick it here, but I couldn't pick it over there. Black sage. Interesting. It would be nice to see, like, an apothecary type thing. I think that's something that they talked about. I'm going to have to do some reading. I'm behind the times here. But I'm sure there's a system that you can use to turn the uh, herbs into tinctures and tonics and and whatnot. Or if, if it's not a system, I'm sure it's discuss. Math Hill helps cure good sunburn. Cool. Sounds good to me. I hate sunburn. Being a ginger, it's never fun. But uh, let me check what time it is. Yeah, alright, let's cut this video here. You guys, please like and favorite. I'm going to be playing Wild West Online a lot. As much as possible, as much as I can. Like, favorite, subscribe, share with your buddies. Um, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and start a second video.